Well, hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. Hey, I want to thank you for joining us as we are we're going through Exodus. Right now, we are spending time looking at the tabernacle and the way God had designed it. And we're looking at ways that it really points to Jesus. Um, and it, or if you are familiar with our teachings here, um, most things in the Bible, they point to Jesus. So today we're going to be looking at, um, this is the tabernacle part six, and this is the curtains and the coverings. And this is taken today from Exodus 26 verses 1 through 14. Keep in mind over here I have the tabernacle, this is the tabernacle complex. What we've started out, we've started out in the Holy of Holies and all the, the things with that. And then this here is the tabernacle. It's a tent, okay? So it's, it's a temporary thing uh, meant to easily transport and take around. Um, so all this stuff disassembles and um, all the, the priests uh, would be in charge of carrying it. And so you'll see what we read here today. The curtains are um, in, actually in sections because you don't have one priest carrying like this huge curtain. It's in sections. Um, and so this is what it is. But then this uh, picture over here, it shows inside that tabernacle. And this, um, it, what we're looking at today is this outer covering that covers it. It covers the sides and um, the roof of it. All right. And it's made, you can see here, there's different layers. There's actually four layers that we're going to be talking about today of coverings. And so the, you have the four layers. And then up top here, I have those four layers and they're separated out better. Okay. Uh, you have the first layer, which is linen, uh, which is the, the closest one. And then uh, on top of that, it's a goat hair curtain. And then on top of that, it's ram skin dyed red. You can see that's the second to the top up there. And then the top covering is badger skins or another type of animal uh, skins. That's really um, a waterproof protection. So let's read here today, Exodus uh, chapter 26, verses 1 through 14. And let's look at how this all ties into Jesus here. All right. It says this. You are to construct the tabernacle itself with ten curtains. You must make them of finely spun linen and blue and purple and scarlet yarn with a design of a cherubim worked into them. Each curtain should be 42 feet long and six feet wide. Uh, all, the curtains are to have the same measurements. Five of the curtains should be joined together and the other uh, five curtains uh, joined together. Make loops of blue yarn on the edge of the last curtain in the first uh, set and do the same on the edge of the outmost curtain in the second set. Make 50 loops on the one curtain and make 50 loops on the edge of the curtain in the second set so that the loops line up together. Also make 50 gold clasps and join the curtains together with the clasps so that the tabernacle may be a single unit. Okay, imagine like you have in your, your shower, you have the rings on top that tie the curtain rod to the shower curtain rod to the shower uh, curtain, it's something like that is what you'd have. All right, you are to make the curtains of goat hair for the tent over the tabernacle. Make 11 of these curtains. Each curtain should be 45 feet long and six feet wide. All 11 curtains are to have the same measurement. Join five of the curtains by themselves and the other six curtains by themselves. Then fold the six curtains double at the front of the temple. Make 50 loops of the, on the edge of one curtain, the outermost in the first set, and make 50 loops on the edge of the corresponding curtain on the second set. Make 50 bronze clasps and put the clasps through the loops and join the tents to, tent together so that it is a single unit. As for the flap that remains from the tent curtains, the leftover half curtain is to hang over the back of the tabernacle. What remains along the length of the tent curtains a half yard on one side and a yard on the other side should hang over the sides of the tabernacle on either side to cover it. Make a covering for the tent from ram skins dyed red and a covering of fine leather on top of that. All right. So um, 
that's the the coverings. We're going to talk tomorrow um, about the, the structure of that, uh, of what's holding those curtains up. But today we're just talking about those curtains and coverings. The first one is the linen covering, and that is made from linen, all right? And linen, it was white, all right? So that would symbolize the righteousness of Jesus, okay? When you have white, it symbolizes, it symbolizes righteous, uh, righteousness. And so it would symbolize the righteousness of Jesus. So that was the first curtain. So we have um, here, you can see it on the side. That's the first curtain, the curtain closest in here. And it's the one on, on the top there. So you have that curtain first. Then you have on top of that, you have this goat hair curtain. All right. And the goats, uh, goats you've read about in the Bible, and it, it typifies the sin of man. All right. So it, every, like when you read about it, um, it, the goat being used in different things, um, it really is typifying the sin of man. Um, also, it um, it's called um, the tent. It, it's interchangeable here, and it's called the tent. Just like our earthly bodies are called a tent. It, it, a tent is a, a, a temporary thing, um, but just like our, our bodies. Um, and so it's typifying the sin of man and, and so forth in our earthly bodies. This also typifies Jesus as our sin offering. Okay? So that's the, the goat hair curtain. A curtain made out of goat hair. You ever seen that before? Well, they made it here. The third uh, one would be ram skins dyed red. Now, this isn't just any ram. This is a ram skin, but then they take and dye it red. Okay? Rams were used in the in consecrating the priests. And so this would show Jesus as our sanctifier. All right? And it's dyed red to symbolize blood blood is red and so it would be we're only uh consecrated and sanctified by the blood okay you, you, you know it's only through the blood of jesus so that's why it's not just um the ram skins but they're dyed red also okay so that's the third one the fourth one is the top covering okay and that was badger skins um or other uh, there's if you depending what translation you look at the, it gives a whole um different animal all right so that it was badger skins or it, it, um, some you know say whale skins and all, all kinds of other um, interpretations of it it doesn't matter necessarily um, what animal we think it is the point here is it was a leather that was um, waterproof and it was a tough leather because it was the outer outer skin of all that so it was this outer uh, skin and that kept the rain off of it and um, also it could withstand the sun. So 40 years that they're, you know, traveling through the wilderness there. And um, they didn't, you know, put this tent under another tent uh, to protect it. No, this was the tent. And so that final covering on the top was this badger skin. Um, and so it was waterproof. It kept water out of it. And it also typifies really protection of believers. So when we're in in the ark like this, and we're in the fellowship of, with Jesus, um, we have protection. All right, we're, you know. So that's what that all typifies. So those are the four uh, coverings that were that we've talked about today: uh, the linen curtain, the goat hair curtain, the ram skin dyed red, and then the top covering. Those four things all are pointing to Jesus in this whole uh, uh, thing here with the tabernacle. All right. Hopefully that makes sense to you. I know it's a lot of stuff that we're throwing at you right here in this episode. But I want to thank you for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our, our journey um, looking at Exodus. But tomorrow we're going to be looking at that that structure that the, the tent is um, made on. Like you have, you know, if you go camping, you have your tent, but then you have the tent pole. So we're going to be kind of looking at that tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Lord's blessing to you.